Well, we know this, we, we know this corruption. We know the, yeah. we know our we know our governments are corrupt. We know every prime minister and every cabinet minister minister has known about the Hillsborough incident since Margaret Thatcher. Right? So they should be done under private prosecutions. Every chief of police knows about it. Right? So why aren't they brought in front of the courts? You know, of course, when I say courts, yeah, let them go in the bloody star chambers. Like the way ordinary people, the ordinary people in the, in the streets, everybody's terrified of these people. They're, all, they're, they're just like you and me, but they're a bit more evil than you and me. And they don't give a damn about you. And they've already predetermined what they're going to do to you before they even walk in those courts. <clears throat> Unless you know, or you've got an idea how to stand up for yourself. I'm back, in, I'm back up against, against these vultures again next Tuesday. I don't know what's going to happen. I've no idea what's going to happen. But I'm not going to stand there and defend myself and know that I am not that bloody piece of ink that they've got on a piece of paper. I'm far more than that. Right? And because I went, I allegedly, because I allegedly went eight miles an hour over a speed limit in the mountains in North Wales, where nobody was about, and one of these dickheads with a camera like that, collecting money so that these bastards can go and bomb people in Iraq, Afghanistan, destroy families, destroy the infrastructure of these countries, put these countries on their knees, and then send their own boys in the Halibans to go and rebuild it all, so that they you know, <laughs> I only come across this information six years ago. I know all these masons, not the vast majority of these masons are after a new world order, which is the total enslavement of everyone. The whole globe, they will get shot at the people who aren't useful to them. And the new generation are going to be that game, that program with television, bloody circuses like the X Factor, programs like Coronation Street and, and being fed crap on the news like, did you know that the bloody World uh, Conquer Championship had to be cancelled last week? You know, instead of being educated, the schools don't educate people. Bloody hell, I've learned more in the last three months than I ever learned in the whole of my time at school. They feel there's lies about the history, lies about geography. The only thing that they teach you is just enough so that you can do their jobs that they want you to do. They don't teach you anymore unless you go into their bloody secret societies and go up the degrees. And when you get to a certain degree, 30th degree, then they tell you the truth. These people are magicians. They are manipulators of energy. They are manipulators of mankind. Right? They're, 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 killing, they're killing people with cancers. With, with, with the food that we eat, everybody knows the food that we eat is shit. Pardon the French, I'm sorry if I'm offending you, but it's all shit. Christ, I remember reading a book in 1971 called The Doomsday Book by Gordon Rattray Taylor. And it was the only book I'd ever bloody read right the way through. And I didn't read again until just recently. Right? And this book told me exactly what was going to happen by the year 2000. And when I found a copy of it on the internet about Five years ago, I read it and everything in it was right. Talking about chemtrails, talking about manipulating weather, talking about putting a, a hole in the ozone, talking about the food that we're going to be eating this crap. But all the cities are crammed tight with people. The reason being because that will cause a state of stress, which causes a state of illness, which brings about cancer and kills them off naturally. Well, not naturally, but kills them off. And if it doesn't, cancer doesn't kill them, they'll kill each other because they're too close together. Every, every house that we live in is the same flame and size living room. It doesn't matter how much you spent out for it, whether it be 100,000 or 500,000, your living room is probably five before. Why? And you're supposed to have a family living room because it's put the family under stress. You've got no space to move around. All these things, they're ingenious in what they've done. Every part of your life has been invaded by these people. Whoever they are, whoever they are. And, and you know, all these Freemasons, 30 degree, 40 degree, 
They haven't got a clue what they're doing. They're just as stupid as, uh, as the rest of them, but the people at the top. The George Bushes, the Tony Blairs, you've got the Brown, and this cat, bloody clown, that's it, now Cabbage Patch Kid. <laughs> well, he is, I mean, he does look like a cat. You know, and he's laughing, and he's using language to you that you don't understand what he's saying. They're putting spells on you. I was up in court a couple of weeks ago when the judge, a district judge in Canaan Court, guess what he was doing in court? Are you with the, uh, not that I'm taking the, are you with the, uh, get out of my court, you've got no business here? That's what he was doing. Why was he doing that? Anybody have any idea? Well, I found out why. He was carrying out a spell on me. A magic spell, that's what he was doing. It was a ritual.